Okay. Hello, this is Alex here with Gacklesburg. I'm co-founder and CEO here at ZivTech. And I am here to do a little stash demo of Probo.ci, ZivTech's new continuous integration, user acceptance testing, approval tool. Um, so basically what Probo does is on a pull, per pull request basis, it's going to launch a Docker container with um, your actual site in it, uh, or with a copy of your site um, with just that pull request enabled. So before you do any kind of merging or code review or anything like that, you can take a look at the site. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm here in Stash. Uh, as I mentioned, we also have it working in GitHub. And I'm going to go into this pull request, which is a very simple demo. Basically, if I look at the diff here, you can see that what I'm doing is I'm just um, changing the background color of our site. For the last demo, I did pink. For this demo, I'll choose something different. But first, we can take a look. This is what the ZipTech site currently looks like. Um, and so I will change this pink. I have to go actually change the file itself. Um, let's see here. So um, I'm just going to go and change this file to now be, we'll say purple. That's a little less garish than pink, sort of. So I'm saving that there. I'm going to go over to my command. I'm going to go over to my terminal and just um, and I'm going to commit this stuff. I, I kind of like pink. I kind of like purple. I'm doing it all in caps because I really kind of like it. Okay, so commit that. Oh, oops. As it's so kindly reminds me, I forgot to add it. So I add it. Then I do that, put commit. Then I do push. And put in my password because I'm not using a key yet. All right. And so that's done here. Now, if we come back here into the... Um, into the pull request, you can see that, I'm just gonna refresh it, the stash doesn't automatically refresh that thing, but you can see that the builds of the, for the site have begun, and these, are, these notifications here will start to update as, um, as the site starts to get built. I'll go over to the Probo site now, and just give a little bit of a, uh, or just to show you what that looks like on the Probo side, and then show you what the end results would be. So here you can see that um, different build processes are running. Um, some of them are still in process. You can see how long they took. Most of them take a very short time. The clearing the cache and enabling st stage file proxy take a little bit longer, um, but it doesn't take very long at all. We've built out the whole site and now now that everything's clear and and this will all be uh, uh, enabled with uh, web sockets uh, shortly in the next uh, day so if I if I go to view build you can see really what the key um, differences between Probo and other continuous integration tools most of those tools are really aimed at uh, letting you develop your site uh, or letting you run automated tests and Probo can run all your automated tests for you if you like or you can use Grasshopper or whatever other automation uh, automatic test system that you build um, and now here you can see though the key thing is that Probo leaves a version of the site up that you can work on that you can see and it's basically the exact same copy of the site including your database and your files with just uh, the one change applied in this case. And while this is a pretty straightforward demo and in, in certain, um, like in, in most of the projects that we work in, there could be anywhere from 10 to 100 or more pull requests per sprint. And up until now, the process of just reviewing these and getting these signed off on 
was um, not too efficient. We would have to wait until the very end of a sprint, have somebody pull all these changes into a development branch, run all the updates, do all the stuff that you saw automated there, push that onto a development site, and then go through the process of QA and approvals, uh, UAT or approvals. And meanwhile, everything else is getting held up. And it, with this, before anybody even goes to um, before anybody even goes to do a code review or tries to merge this in, we can do a very basic check just to make sure that the user story or the task at hand was completed and that um, it, it works as it's supposed to and that the, it's approved by either the project owner or the client or somebody else. So really the, the key value proposition is that it frees up your teams to work uh, with your QA and product ownership and clients in a much more cohesive fashion throughout the process of development instead of just at the end in a sort of mad dash to do QA and approvals. So by the time that it gets to this QA period, um, you will already have gone through a baseline of uh, QA and approval and, and you know that if it works, it's been approved. Um, and so then your QA period is basically just double checking that everything works once it's all pulled in together, getting final approvals, and then you can push that live. So it just makes the whole process of development around Git a lot more efficient. As I mentioned, it also works in GitHub. So you can, uh, just to show in GitHub. Oh, this one was closed but you can see us doing the same thing here. Here you can see the, the YAML file that Probo uses to run uh, whatever you need it to. And from that YAML file, you can define a lot of other things to run, such as Ruby, such as, uh, so if you have, if you have uh, Ruby gems you need to run, or if you need to compile your SAS into CSS, or whatever else you have to do to, to make, um, to make the, the container a, a replica of your current site, you can do that really pretty straightforwardly. Uh, and just so that you know, Probo is both open source, which you can find at github.com.proboci, uh, as well as a, it is going to be a, uh, a software as a service offered by us, as well as an enterprise tool that we will uh, install on behalf of clients. So that's a little bit of Probo. And uh, if you need any more info, please just uh, shoot us an email, alex at proboci.com or howard at proboci.com. And we hope you like it as much as we do.